Hey guys, Sean here and welcome to my second workout video of the week. Today we're going to be doing my Tuesday home workout. So that's uh, primarily pull movement muscle group. So back, biceps, rear delts, a little bit of uh, cardio on the rowing machine. And uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you find the video useful and give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Today will be the last upper body workout of the week. So uh, let's make the most of it. <laughs> guys so for our first exercise we're going to be doing rowing intervals so we're going to be doing one minute high intensity on the rowing machine if you don't have a rowing machine uh, any other form of static cardio is fine if you want to skip if you want to jog on the spot um, that's up to you and after that we're going to be jumping straight onto the bench to do uh, single arm rows supported rows with a dumbbell on the bench so uh, it's a minute on and then 10 reps on the bench and a minute on and 10 reps no rest so we're going to do four sets so uh, let's get started all right, let's do this. So when we row, we want to make sure we have a full range of movement all the way forward, all the way back. It's not about doing the reps as quickly as possible, it's about doing them properly. Putting in the effort. I like rowing because you have a whole, it's basically a whole body warm up, and a whole body workout. You've got your legs, back, core, shoulders, arms, everything. Breathe. Man, a minute feels like a long time in here. Flat out. Uh, 10 seconds. Alright, okay. Straight onto the bench. So we're gonna have our left knee on the bench. Left hand here, supporting. Right foot out to stabilize. And we're gonna come down to arms are fully extended without falling down like this. Our shoulders are parallel. And we're gonna row up one, two. Try and get it to our chest. Three, four. Make sure our back is straight. Five, six, not rounded like this. Seven, eight, nine, Okay, swap sides. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Back in the room. with it. Heart rate should be nice and high now. 10 seconds. All right, back in the bench. Now remember, if you don't have a dumbbell, you can use anything. Like I said in my previous video, water bottles, milk bottles, wine bottles, whatever you can find. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Top sides. Thank you. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. Back on the wrong machine. Nice hot day today. Already working up the sweat. All right, let's go. with that. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. All right, back right, on the bench. Exercise done. 30 second break.
All right, guys, next exercise, we're gonna do another set of unsupported rows um, with the doubles, this time with both arms. So, what you wanna do is you wanna bend your knees slightly, but make sure that your knees don't go in front of your toes. So stick your bum back and get the dumbbells to the about knee level, maybe lower if you can, and then roll up to your chest. Make sure you squeeze your shoulder blades at the top too. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Thirty seconds rest. All right, guys, second set. Well, make sure that when you roll up, try not to use, try not to use momentum like that. Try to just use your muscle. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really focus on squeezing and the shoulder blades. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and. All right, guys, third set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Thirty seconds reps. All right, guys, last set. Alright guys, for our next exercise we're going to be doing shoulder shrugs, really really good for our traps up here and what you want to do is you want to keep the dumbbells, your arms fully extended by your side and just focus on using your traps and your shoulders to shrug up, try not to bend your arms and use your arms to help, you want to keep them relaxed and low and then just use your shoulders too.
All right, guys, second set. Oh, it's starting so much. One, two. Try to keep your feet close together, it might help. Three. So your dumbbells don't rub against your legs so much. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Thirty second rest. Alright guys, so that's that. All right, guys, last set. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right guys, next up we're gonna do some bicep curls. So we're gonna start with the open grip like this and curl all the way up to our chest. Now when we go down and up, make sure, make sure that our elbows don't move around like this. So when we curl up, try not to do that. Try to keep your elbows in line with your body. Alright guys, next up, we're going to do the same open grip, but we're going to go from 90 degrees to the top. So we're going to start here, and then wrap up. Come down to here, wrap up to here. This will target the upper part of our bicep muscle. Thirty seconds rest.
All right, guys, next up, we're gonna do the same thing, but with a hammer grip. So this time you wanna hold the dumbbells this way, bring them up to your chest. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, again, trying to keep the elbow stable. Take a break if you need it. Nine. And ten. Thirty seconds rest. Alright guys, so I'm going to do exactly the same thing as before but with a hammer grip. So we're going to go from 90 degrees up. All right guys, next up we're gonna do bicep curls, but seated. And what I do is I just use my leg to support my elbow, to stop it from moving, so it just isolates the bicep muscle a little bit more. So, first we're gonna start with the open grip, like before. Curl up to the top and back down. All right guys, next up we're gonna do the same thing as before. Open grip again, but this time 90 degrees up. Two, three, four, five. Again, this helps to just target the upper part of the dumbbell. Six, dumbbell, bicep, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, swap sides.
All right, guys, next up, same thing as before. We're gonna use the hammer grip, full range of motion. So make sure your elbow is supported on your leg and curl. One, <coughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, swap sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, 30 seconds rest. All right guys, last one. Hammer grip again, but 90 degrees. So starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, okay, thirty seconds rest. All right, next up we're gonna do prone rows. This is actually an exercise I learned in the army. So this is for our lower back. What you wanna do is tighten our glutes and our lower back to keep our legs slightly elevated. Reach out in front like this, and then row up. One, two, kinda of like a cobra. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Oh, that really kills the lower back. Thirty seconds rest. All right guys, second set. One, two, so you really want to use your lower back to, to extend. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Oh, 30 seconds rest. All right, guys, third set. Almost done. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, last set coming up. All right, last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. 30 seconds break. All right guys, great job. We're on our last exercise of the day. I've taken off my watch just because it gets in the way, but we're gonna do four arms. So this time we're gonna do the underside. So making sure that our elbows are about 100 to 90 degrees. Relax to let the dumbbells come down and then flex to bring them up towards you. I like to keep my torso against the bench, my back straight. and 15. Okay, 30 seconds rest. All right guys, second set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. 30 seconds rest. All right, that's it. coming up.
All right, guys, last set. Oh, great job. All right, guys, that's it for the workout today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't worry if you missed any of the reps or the timings or anything. I'm going to put a full uh, description of the workout in the description of the video. It just goes to show that, you know, home workouts can get you pretty tired. So don't worry if your local gym is closed, you can always find a way. Um, tomorrow we'll be doing legs. So if you're interested, make sure to tune in for that. I'll see you guys then. Thank you.